This is something that I noticed about the retrigger command while working on the next set of videos. If you watched on the official Renoise channel, the effect commands addendum video, there's a section in there where I go into the retriggering of the notes. It retriggers not just the playing of the waveform, but the note itself. And with that, you can create some interesting setups. What I've found here though is uh, when accompanied by the note itself, the retrigger will also retrigger velocity command. Now, what this means is we need to separate velocity and volume because the volume will be affected by this as well, but the velocity, which is something that's put forth to create additional changes, uh, most commonly with uh, plug-in and MIDI components. But uh, nowadays this can be done with native Renoise stuff as well. It never used to be the case. I think it was uh, version 1.9 was the first time that Velocity was used with the back then called Velocity device, now the Velocity Tracker. And of course, there are additional components used, most notably in the modulation section, where there's velocity trackers there, and you can do a lot of things with the velocity coming from the note. And so, when the retrigger is accompanied by the notes, then the velocity will be retriggered as well. But I didn't really notice this before, because it's rare to use anything other than zero for the X value, meaning the velocity itself and the volume won't actually change. Also, you might be using the RX command instead of the full RXY. That's very common, which doesn't change anything either because the option isn't even there. Also, this is happening so fast when you put it onto a note that you don't even really notice. And additionally, because it doesn't do anything unless accompanied by a note, then in that case, it doesn't do anything. So how would this actually be used? Well, if you use something other than the zero or the eight version for the RXY command, then you can increase or decrease the volume and velocity of the note retriggers. As you can see in this example, this is going to affect the connected distortion device through the velocity tracker. So this could open up some interesting combinations where you want to trigger uh, velocity differences through a velocity tracker either here in the effects section or the modulation section, but you can leave out the accompanying note to not trigger that at different times. It could be an interesting setup and something worth looking into in the future. Now, I also thought this might have something to do with ghost notes. Unfortunately, that's not really the case. What does happen is that the velocity from the original is used, but it's used from the last re-trigger. And that does make sense since the volume and panning values of the original note are passed on to the ghost notes if they don't specify their own values. But when re-triggered, this behaves in the same way for the starting note, but the volume and velocity are back in lockstep for the retriggers. So I'm not really sure why it's like this. Ghost notes were always a very weird concept anyway, 
And this re-triggering of things clearly just gets caught up in it in a pretty strange way. <laughs> 